Hello everyone, this is Afra from Quick WordPress Websites. Today we are going to see a WordPress free theme called Shopping Cart, which is a theme used for the wood commerce, that is the shop business. So let's see how to install this theme and activate the theme and demo import and edit the old contents from the header to footer menu. And also we can uh, see the shop page so you can see the categorically it's divided and also you can edit other pages and finally we will edit the contact us page so let's go into the video and do the changes first log it to your wordpress dashboard so my website name is demo.webias.com so i'm going to the dashboard by adding the wp admin so after entering the username and password i'll enter to the website after that go to the appearance and click themes and add new so then you can locate the shopping cart theme in the wordpress itself so just click the name shopping cart and search here the shopping cart will automatically appear so click install so it will take few minutes depends on your internet speed after that you can click activate so now the theme is activated and it will ask uh, so the latest version is the 1.18 and before import import the demo content you have to install the uh, default plugins so begin installing plugin just click so after that you can uh, bulk install this uh, plugin so go to the plugin and select all the plugins and bulk action is installed and click apply so now it will automatically install the plugins once the installation is completed you have to activate so again click plugins and click activate and apply now it will activate the all necessary plugins to import the demo data you have to download the demo importer so just click that and it will redirect you the, to the website where you can find the demo importer so free download that once the download is completed you go back to your wordpress dashboard go to plugins add new upload plugin then locate the plugin you have just downloaded so upload that plugin theme free CI demo importer install now so it will automatically install the demo okay once the plugin is uploaded successfully click activate plugin once it done goes to appearance and locate the import demo data so appearance import demo data so now it will show the available demo data for the shopping cart so default shopping cart is in the first and second and third ones are pay, paid versions so just install the free version so click import demo data so just click continue and import so wait for a few minutes then you will get the success message import complete so you can check the site click visit site so now you can see the all the demo data are imported in my demo website so you can see the all the demo data installed so there are sub menus and sub menus also have another sub menus and sections are there and shop here you don't have any products so let's see how to customize these products in the shop page and you can have the blog page and contact us page the blog page is for the uh, display of your blog posts so it will be useful for the google search and search engine optimizations and here the contact us page so we will see one by one how to edit these things first go to the home page and click customize 
so once you click the customize it will open the customization menu here you can see each menu item will have a edit option you can see the up and down arrow in backwards you can see the blue color icon which is a pen icon it will allow you to edit so in this area in the left side you 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 couldn't see that edit icon because sometimes it may be hidden so what you have to do is you have to click the control minus in your keyboard so it will shrink the screen and it will show the uh, background edit option once you click control minus it will minimize the screen size and the background edit option will appear so you can click that background blue color edit option let's edit the top menu bar that is the address bar so once you click you can see the address bar will be appear in the left side to edit or else you can uh, visit the same item in widgets so you can go to the widgets and you can select the top header bar so here you can edit the address phone number email and other details here i am deleting the demo data and insert the actual data so i am entering the country as usa and you can see it immediately displayed here and similarly you can edit the telephone number email and other website link let's edit the logo and the tagline so just click the pen icon there and you can select the logo so here you can remove the logo or you can change the logo with your default one and also you can edit the site title so same thing can be uh, achieved by world club settings site title and logo the you can come to the same position now i am changing the logo so go to media library you can use early available one or else you can upload one so i'm just using the available one so click the logo and select and you can crop the image if you want or else you can use it as it is so i'm just cropping the image here now you can see the logo have been changed and if you want to edit the tagline you can edit so i am editing as my shop so it will immediately display as my shop and also you can edit uh, this tagline called uh, webias online shop so you can use this site title and tagline in the menu bar or else you can hide these things so there is the option so where you can hide the things let's edit the top social media icons so you can click that edit bar and you can move to the social links so this icons can be reached from appearance menus and here you can see the top menu so just click for social links so click social links and select so now the all the social media links will appear you can rearrange the icons and you can remove unnecessary icons and also you can add your own uh, social media link like facebook link you can add and other social media links also you can add if you don't want any social media link you, you can just remove it once done you can save the menu let's edit the top my account and login so just click the edit icon or go to the dashboard and click appearance and click menu then select the top menu so here you can see that my account and login menus are available but for fully functioning of these items we have to install a, a plugins so we will explain it in a different video because it will take some time so just leave it for the moment now let's edit the primary menu this home section shops are the primary menu so that's a main menu so you can again you can reach it from appearance 
go to dashboard and appearance then click menus then select main menu so the main menu will appear so here you can see the home and other sub menus so you can add or remove the unnecessary menus we will explain it in the later part of this video we can move around the menu items above and below for example i am going to move this contact us so i am just click and drag to some position where i need to add this contact us similarly i will move the shop icon to another place and save the menu then you can go to the front page and you can see that the menus have been changed in the position home contact us and shops are there so you can rearrange the menus according to your need let's edit the advertisement menu here you can see the advertisement banner so you can change the name and you can add any link so in the similar way you can use the google adsense in that area as well so we you can see that video in our playlist let's edit the all products vertical menu so click that edit icon then you can click edit menu and edit items or else you can go to the appearance and click menus and there also you can select the all products menu so select that menu so here also you can rearrange and remove the contents these menu items are actually product categories so where can i find that product categories go to woocommerce and pro, uh, sorry products and click categories it will open into product categories here you can add new category or edit available category so these categories will be added to new products go to products and select all products here you can see each products can be added to one of the categories so products are in the left side and you can see in the right side the categories have been added so you can edit any category of any product okay the next item is the front page slider so here you can see the sliding items so where can i edit this one go to the left side customizer menu bar and click slider options and click slider settings here you can arrange the slider so here in the slider in the front page and you can arrange any category select any product category to display in the slider so here it is default category and it is slider so the category selected for the slider is the slider category so so when you create any product you can add them as a slider so then it will be automatically appear here so here i am selecting five items so the slider will contain five products so go to the dashboard select products and select categories here you can see one of the category is called slider it contains three items so i can click that three and we can see the three products added into the cat, uh, slider category will be available here so you can add many products in the slider category and those products can be appear in the front page slider let's go to the products so all products and you can see there are some products are categorized as the slider so those products will be appear in the slider so you can edit any products for slider so you can re rename it or you can add new products in the slider category so those products will be appear in the front page slider let's edit these three images that's promotional products so go to slider options and click product promotion so i'm showing again so click product promotion here you can remove or change the image and you can give any links so this is 
very easy way so you just replace the images with preferred one and you can give some links before going into each category of products let's see how to create a WooCommerce product in your listing so just see this dumbbell item with price by product link and category and there are descriptions and some other gallery images and description and related products then product categories all the things are here so how to do this so go to your dashboard and click WooCommerce and click home it will bring you to the WooCommerce home page where you have to add your shop details like shop address, country, city, postcode and other details. Once added, click continue. Then click no thanks. And select some categories of items that you are selling in your WooCommerce website. So I am just selecting some random products categories and click continue. Again, click continue and move forward with some random answering some random questions and go with continue. Once the basic setup is done, you have to go to the WooCommerce and click settings. So once you click setting, you can have to the go to the general products and other things. So first thing is the general setup where you can add the ad and city and postal code and other things you have to add. If you are selling to a specific countries, you can select sell to specific countries and shipping location also you can select or else you can just leave it as a blank. So next things we can uh, have the currency options. So before that you can add the taxes or coupon items and then you can change the currency. So by default it is US dollar. So if you want to change the currency, you can change here. then save the changes then go to the products the shop page is shop that is in the menu bar and other items you want if you want you can change or else you just save it and click shipping so here you can add the shipping methods like free shipping or paid ones and the amount it should be paid so those things you can create here also you can create zipping zones as well so first I am going to add a zipping zone so this, this zone I can name it some name so I am giving as USA and the regions you can select or you can just leave it as USA it's then click add zipping method so here you can give flat rate or free shipping or local pickup. So first I am giving free shipping within USA and I am saving that method. So it will be appear like this. Now I am going to add another shipping zone. So add shipping zone. For this I will name it as UK. And shipping region also UK so here I will add a shipping method with a flat rate so I okay, select as flat rate now I want to give a rate so click flat rate and click edit so here you can put as taxable or not and you can put the cost so I am sending item from U USC to UK with the flat rate of 12 USD so when a customer buying from UK, it will be appear as 12 USD as the shipping cost, but in USA it will be free. So let's go to the next item that is payments. Here you can have WooCommon payments that is Stripe payment method. You can pay with credit card and other payments method available are direct bank transfer, check payments and cash and delivery. So let's check what will happen when you select the WooCommerce payment method. So here it will show the accepted uh, credit card details. But you have to create a Stripe account and you have to connect the Stripe account with this WooCommerce payment method. Next payment method is the direct bank transfer. 
so when you enable it you can you have to give the bank details so once the buyer buying the item he have to minimally pay the payment to your bank you have to give the account name account number bank name routing number ibn and swift code also you can enable the check payments and cash on delivery so if you want to have the paypal payment method so it will be recommended here so it is paypal it will recommend ways to get paid so you have to click get started then it will ask to connect to your paypal so once you click that it will redirect to your paypal page and you have to give the username and password and add it once it's done you can get the paypal payment method in your payment method list so here you can have the paypal and also you can have the paypal card processing next item is accounts and privacy so once you click that you can select or deselect the guest checkout account creations methods so allowing or disallowing some facilities and other privacy policy details you can edit here as well once done save it next menu item is the emails so in the emails you can see the new order so when a new order received we are to send so you can edit that email so click manage and you can edit that email address in other details if you want you can edit or else you can leave it as a default so these are the settings in the email in other menu items like integration advanced are no need to go for deep details okay let's see how to add a new product for that you have to go to the dashboard and products and click add new so now add new product will appear so here you can give any name for the product and you can put the description here and after that you can select the categories if you don't have a new category you can go to the category and add a new category after the topic and the description you can give the price that's the regular price and another sale price so what and here you can manage the inventory so you can put available items and also you can allow the buyers to back order if the item not available still the buyers can order that's the back order or else you can do not allow that one and here you can give the product short description and here you can give product tags so it will be useful when google search engine is on work so better give some tags and also you can give google adsense and google search engine op optimization here let's come back to the product listing and here you can add the product image so one image is for the uh, featured image and other image will be the gallery images if you see the listed product you can see the product tag name and the regular place and the sale price and here you can see the featured image and below that you can see the gallery images then you can see the description provided later you can see the related products this is the listing formula and after that you can see the product categories and other things the related products can be added by clicking the linked products where you can select the similar category of products that match the item you are listing so once a buyer click one item they can get the similar items by displaying the linked products then you can give the attributes let's edit a already listed products so go select the product and click edit here you can see the product title is there and the product description in the description area 
on the below you can go to the uh, categories and you can select the categories and here we are listing as an affiliate product so what we are doing is we are select the product data as affiliate product and we are give the affiliate product click or else if you going to put the direct item click simple product and the put your direct item and also you can see the regular price and the sale price and shipping method you can select any shipping class already uh, established in other categories you can edit let's see how to create a new product category so go to products and click categories here you can see you can add new category the name and the slug and you can put any category image to display in the categories and you can add that category okay let's come back to the front page and shall we edit the best selling products so click that pen icon behind that best selling products now here it will open like a blog so to minimize this you have to click that arrow see now the editable area will be narrowed so you can change the name of this best selling products to something as you want and you can select the number of items to display and also you can uh, select the category of items to be displayed here also you can enable or disable the more button so then you can publish Similarly, you can uh, edit other items like best sellers, products. So, click the pen item of the products, and here you can edit the product's name and the description and the category of products. All things can be editable. So, I'm just minimizing that products. And here you can edit the topic number of items and product categories and all the things similarly you can uh, edit this featured products the click the pen item and minimize the screen and edit the uh, featured products so you can edit the topic number of items to displayed and more button and categories you can edit and finally you can publish the changes Similarly, you can edit the top rated products, new arrivals, and also the featured products and old products. All the items you can be editable by clicking the back blue button and open that in the left side widget and minimize it and you can edit them. It's simple. let's see how to add google adsense advertisement code in between these front page topics for that you have to go to the appearance and click widgets here you can locate the shopping cart front page theme so let's minimize that and you can see yeah here shopping cart template so once you open that shopping cart template you can see the all the categories we have created also will be available here and also you can edit those categories from the widget as well so same things here best sellers we can edit as we edited earlier click this plus icons to add the google adsense code and search for html so here you can look at the custom html drag and drop the custom html code the place where you want to display the Google AdSense bar so I am going to display it in the featured products above the featured products so here I can put the Google AdSense just typing some letters and I put, can put the code so once you put the code the advertisement will be appear in the front page so you can see the tutorial of how to create AdSense account and how to install it in separate video so let's see how this code is appeared in the front page 
here you can see the area demarcated for the Google AdSense is appearing here. Once you enter the code, the Google AdSense advertisement will appear in this area. Okay, let's edit the footer region of the shopping cart theme. So click the blue icon behind that footer region and you here you can uh, change the image and the description on the left footer area. So I can change the image as well as the description. Let's edit the payment option. So we accept. You just click the blue icon be behind that. And here you can see the codes for each uh, credit card and other payment accepted methods. So if you don't have any payment option, you can remo remove, delete that one. Or else you can add some other payment options. Similarly, you can uh, edit the shop location. So here it's a text area. So you can edit the text area as we done earlier. So you can select each uh, region within the code and you can edit it. Also you can edit this download app. If you don't need this download app option, you can just delete that. Let's edit the footer credit of the shopping cart theme. For that you have to go to the appearance and click theme editor and you can uh, access the theme files. So where you have to search for the footer.php. So once you click that you have to locate the footer credentials. Uh, yeah, it's 65. You can see the copyright. And also you can see the design by shopping cart. So you, you, you can edit that shopping cart by your company name or your team name or your shop name. So I just click set as myself. And here I, could, uh, I can edit the domain name with my uh, website name. In other things if you want you can edit or you can keep that so I just delete this part and setting a shop and shopping cart also I am deleting so after you complete this editing uh, yeah this WordPress part also I am editing or delete with my own one and click update file so once it's done you can refresh your website and see what's happened here you can see the default footer credentials have been changed with your own one uh, okay that finishes the front page or home page editing let's edit some uh, menu items those are unnecessary to the website so go back to dashboard and click appearance and select menus so then select the main menu here you can see with the home page you can see some unnecessary custom links so these custom links will be direct to your website to the original default theme so what you have to do is you have to just remove this unnecessary custom links to avoid uh, confusion to the customers so these things are unnecessary to the website so just remove those things also you can rearrange the menu contents to the preferred positions then you can save the menu so after that let's edit some other pages so let's edit contact us page Contact us page having your name required, email required, then subject and message. Those are not compulsory. So how to edit these things and how to customize this contact us page with your email address. So for that, 
go to the dashboard and click contacts and click contact forms here you can see the contact uh, default contact forms so here this contact form one is there and contact form is there so there are two ids so which one you have here so let's see which one is here it's contact form one so let's edit the contact form one so here you can see the mail details that is site admin email site admin email means the email address you have used to log into the wordpress dashboard and site title and other things are here so you can edit those things with your one so here the from email is wordpress.webias.com so i can edit that one and other things you can leave it as it is let's edit the shop page once you click the shop page sometimes you may wonder there are no items displayed in the shop page so how to edit that one go to the dashboard and select the woocommerce and click settings in the settings you can see the products shop page here sometimes the different shop may be selected so you can change that shop to other one and click save so there are two shops there so it's wrongly you have select the other one so now i have changed the other shop so let's open this website in a new tab and let's open the shop page hooray now the shop page is loaded with the old items available in the shop and you can categorize those items with the product categories and order descending ascending with price orders all the categories will be available finally you can edit the blog page the blog page displays the post you are creating so you can go to the dashboard and select post and you can add new post so if you want you can keep that block or else you can remove it so these are the short description of the uh, shopping cart theme so if you want more details please leave a comment and please subscribe our channel to get more and more demonstrations and wordpress website related videos thank you very much